Hey, this is Simona from Herunta Solutions. Thank you for tuning in today for another CyberSecPulse webinar. Let me remind you that Herunta Solutions is a leading value added distributor of cybersecurity and innovative infrastructure solutions. Every month we organize CyberSecPulse webinars where we bring together highly qualified security professionals to address cybersecurity challenges. Today we will talk about how to keep data secure and security high with PAMOC Managed Mobile Device Management. But more about that you will hear from Michael and Paulina. Before we get started, I want to remind you that the webinar will be recorded. So if you have a step away for any reasons, don't you worry. We will send you a recording in about a week. Everyone is muted, so if you have a question, feel free to leave it in the chat window. We encourage you to submit your questions anytime during the presentation and we will get to those in the end of the webinar in the verbal Q&A. So, Paulina, Michael, whenever you're ready, please take it away. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Simona. Uh, hello, everyone. We are FAMOC. Um, we are glad to welcome you during this webinar session regarding mobile security. And by the way, thank you Hermitage Solution for your invitation. Uh, today we represent Pharma Company. So first, please let us introduce ourselves. Uh, so my name is uh, Paulina Vrubel. I'm a marketing manager. And together with me today uh, is uh, Michał Kacprzak from Presales team. Say hello, Michal. Hello, 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 everyone. Yes, I'm here. I'm <laughs> glad to be here with you as well. Okay. All right. So first of all, let's take a look um, to the agenda and what we have prepared for you today. Uh, yeah, we will start from the uh, with the short story. What would happen if if your mobile business device is lost or stolen? Then we will um, give you a brief uh, introduction about uh, our company and what we are doing. Um, the next part will be about uh, FAMOC Manage, which is our base uh, product. Then we will tell you something about Android Enterprise uh, and we will show you a piece of demo session, live demo. Uh, and uh, then I will describe, I will um, talk about uh, our, one of our um, case study. Uh, so that will be a FAMOC manage in practice. And of course, in the end, we will do some uh, Q&A. Uh, so as uh, Simona said before, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask on the chat tab. All right. I think we can start from the short story and that's the place where Michal will take yes, the voice. Yes, that's, that, that's me. Uh, okay, uh, so let's start with the short story. I would like you to imagine that you are on a walk in the park. Uh, it's a uh, you know, warm day in the middle of September. Uh, yeah, September, I know. Uh, not many people around, uh, but suddenly you saw that there is a phone, mobile phone, in the grass. Um, okay, we are curious. Let's say what's there, what's in, in, in there. So um, let's, let's take this phone and let's have a look. Um, as you can see, I can see that there is an uh, Android-based device, surprise. Um, uh, 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 the, the first thing is that the, uh, it's weird that the phone can be unlocked. Uh, can be unlocked. Uh, it's not protected by any pin code or password pattern. Uh, but you know, we, we must bear in mind that almost 30% of smartphone owners have no lock screen of on, on their phones. Uh, so since you are a good guy, we are a good guy, guys. Um, we just we just uh, take a look on the phone to check who is the owner. Uh, like you know, in the Facebook, uh, it's nice. Uh, sometimes uh, there is a, a, a about me profile in the in the contacts book, so that we can we can uh, we can we can you know, change change uh, we can check the, the mobile phone or the or the email address, and and, uh, um, and now this history it could be finished, right? Because we know who is the owner, 
uh, we can uh, contact him somehow, you know, uh, send a message um, uh, on the Facebook or, or write uh, an email to notify that to if, if we found that device um, and that's it, right? But, uh, but what if, uh, what if uh, we are a bad guy? Um, yeah, um, bad guys uh, are, are, you know, uh, somewhere as well. Um, okay, so uh, we know that there is a, a contact list from the previous video. Uh, there are a lot of uh, contacts. Maybe some of them are business contacts, right? Let's move on. Uh, we have uh, here, hmm, what do we have here? We have a common, common apps. Um, let's start with uh, Google, Google, Google Maps. Uh, okay, we know that the, uh, where, where this person uh, lives and works is somewhere in Riga. Um, okay, um, what else do we what else do we have here? Um, um, we have a we have a Gmail, we have an email account. Uh, okay, it's really hard to describe when someone takes the control over over our our email account because uh, it's something like you know like a link to all our accounts in the internet. Um, um, okay, what, what else do we have? We have, uh, um, what's their finance? We have some banking apps, uh, nice. We can, we can check uh, our bank account balance. We can, we can change, check, check, check the, the, the payment history. Uh, we have a Facebook as well, right? Uh, we can, you know, we can impersonate and extort money from, from, from Fred of that person. We have a OneDrive, we have a Dropbox. Uh, okay, let's, let's check the Dropbox. What do we have here? Okay, so some confidential catalog. Okay, some company's files. Okay, mm -hmm. what else? Private files, some photos. Uh, okay, let's focus on corporate, on corporate uh, data because this interests us most. Uh, you know, um, corporate contacts can be used for you know, I don't know, phishing or can be sold to the competitors. Uh, same with confidential company reports, information, uh, which is a serious data leak. Uh, such files can be um, easily downloaded from, from such, such device uh, over the Bluetooth, USB cable, or over the internet um, as well. Um, uh, there, was a, there was a Slack communicator on the, on the application list. Uh, it's a commonly used by, by corporations as well. Um, there can be a lot of internal information. Um, um, uh, you know, such situation may have an uh, you know, impact not only on GDPR fees, uh, but on a company's reputation, which can be much more valuable, valuable than, than any fee. Uh, we have in mind that uh, mobile phones are our world, window to the world, right? Uh, everything is there, our personal and our corporate life. And we can, we can, ask, uh, we can ask ourselves uh, how to prevent such, such situation. Uh, how to be sure that corporate data is saved on 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 uh, our mobile phones in our pockets? Uh, you know that's why we are here. Uh, we are Famoke, okay, and we would like to to help you with that. Oh, yeah. Exactly, exactly, Michal. Mm -hmm. So all those problems that Michal have mentioned are uh, closely related to what we are doing, and uh, here. We should have a small pool. So, Simona, if you can hear me, uh, we should we should have a pool on screen for you. Yes. So, uh, first of all, I've got a question to you. We've got actually. So, uh, could you please answer? Do you know what MDM solutions are, like mobile device management? Uh, because that's what we are doing, and we will uh, we will tell you more about it later on. Right, we should see. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Most of you uh, already know what MDM solutions are about. About so everything we'll be talking about should be clear for you, but. Of course, if you have some questions, please ask. Uh, yeah, FAMOK uh, is a company um, uh, based in Poland uh, in 2006. 
So during this time, we have gathered um, around 2,000 clients, a lot of partners, technology partners and sales partners. And what we are actually doing is uh, providing the companies, the organizations, a tool to secure and manage their mobile fleet. So MDM solution uh, is our solution, FAMOC Manage. Uh, so we are focused on mobile devices, the managing part, but also security. Uh, and what I mean here is uh, forcing security restrictions on the end users, uh, configuring security policies, uh, monitoring use, uh, the monitoring uh, of the device's usage, and all of that we can do remotely from, from FAMOC Managed Console. And, uh, yes, as I said before, we have a lot of partners. Um, a big giants like Google, uh, Apple, Microsoft, the Samsung, Zebra, and etc. And uh, as well as the sales partners, our sales, uh, our sale is uh, mostly in Europe, like eighty-five percent. And as you can see, um, we have a lot of clients uh, from very different industries, from banking. Uh, through transport and logistics, healthcare, um, until the public and the government sector. And as you can see, we have also uh, some clients in uh, Baltic countries, in uh, Lithuania as well, for example, Kauno Tiltai, uh, the transport and logistic company. And um, yeah, we should remind that uh, we are working not only for the huge companies, uh, but also for small organizations or uh, the public sector, as, an, as I mentioned. Right. Uh, let's uh, take a look on our product portfolio. Uh, our main product uh, is uh, FAMOC Manage. As I said, it's mobile device management solution. And we have two other products uh, which are based on FAMOC Manage uh, platform um, engine, and this is uh, FAMOC Defend, uh, which is related to our, let's say, secret projects because uh, those projects are from public sector government. And FAMOC Defend is highly customized and focused on high level security restrictions. That is why um, we are saying that it's dedicated to government or public sector. And the other one, uh, FAMOC Lock, uh, is also based on FAMOC Manage Engine, but it's dedicated mostly to uh, telco sector. And the reason is that uh, the reason is that using FAMOC Lock, we can send reminders and notifications about the missing payments for the people who uh, bought their smartphones uh, and they don't uh, pay their installments. And now uh, Miha will tell you uh, more about FAMOC Manage and uh, uh, how to protect the, the, the business mm -hmm. data on, on the Exactly, network. exactly. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, yeah, um, as Olga mentioned, uh, I would like to, to tell you, to show you how, how the device cycle, life cycle uh, looks like in, in FAMOC, in FAMOC Manage and how we can uh, manage our, our you know, your devices. Uh, in our, our system. Uh, well, FAMOC, FAMOC Manage is available. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. FAMOC Manage is, Manage is available uh, uh, in, in, let's say, three scenarios for, for the end customer uh, uh, as, as, uh, as a hosted solution, a shared or a dedicated cloud, uh, or on site. Um, in the uh, first two uh, scenarios, a uh, client just will receive the, the website, login and password. So it's a, so the credentials to, to, to log into the, uh, to the, to the FAMOC Manage uh, available in, in, the, in the cloud. And in case of on-site, there is an uh, installation needed, uh, need, needed to be done uh, in, in customers' infrastructure. Uh, and in case of uh, cloud, Cloud uh, solution. There is a there is a license for exact 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 time and defined amount of devices. 
But in, in, in case of on-site environment, uh, the license is permanent with obligatory uh, maintenance. Um, okay, so uh, what what can FAMOC manage? Uh, basically, it can secure your, your devices and data collected collected on them. Uh, we can do that by by creating a separated environment for the device for convey data, uh, applying security policies which makes the the device secured. Example. Example, uh, uh, lock application uh, installation from unknown sources or locking unnecessary uh, modules um, like Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth or NFC. Um, uh, with FAMOC you can, you can locate the device uh, or force uh, an operating system updates. Um, since FAMOC is a part of, you know, big picture of IT infrastructure, uh, so it can be integrated with company systems. Mm. You know, it's just, it, it was a shortcut. Let's let's take a look on the uh, on the device lifecycle in in FAMOC. The first step uh, to use FAMOC is you know uh, the enrollment process. Uh, we we need to somehow add our devices to to, to FAMOC. Uh, so you can you can do it uh, manually or automatically way in auto automatic way. Uh, if you decided to 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 do it manually. Um, which is, you know, a recommended uh, recommended uh, you know scenario when you are uh, you know, testing uh, our our solution. Uh, you can you can do it uh, in three ways using QR code, NFC, or text message. Uh, all of them rely on installing the FAMOC application on the device. Um, but the but the recommended uh, method is the auto enrollment method. Uh, it's, it's it's dedicated for each and every operating system, so like like you know uh, zero touch uh, for Android devices, uh, Nox Mobile enrollment for uh, Samsung Android based devices, and um, device enrollment program for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS uh, devices. Um, the main advantage of auto enrollment process is that the 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 the, the end user user that doesn't have to do a lot on the device. Uh, he or she just you know gets the the, the, the brand new device uh, which can be unpacked and the whole configuration is going automatically after the first run when the connection to the, the when when connected to the internet. Uh, you know I, I saw it for for the first time a few years ago. This 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 auto enrollment process and it still you know it looks like a magic uh, because everything uh, is done automatically. The device is uh, automatically prepared. Uh, for for the end user, um, and when devices, uh, then when the device is enrolled, it's important to prepare the device to be used by the end user. Uh, I mentioned about the about the configuration settings. Um, uh, Famoc Manage allows you to configure your device remotely, so you can you can do everything from the you know from the web console. I uh, just click on on the on the, in the web, on the web console and. And uh, something is is uh, is uh, will will be done uh, on the device side. Uh, well, um, FAMOC allows you to configure everything, uh, as I said, uh, remotely. Uh, you can configure your email account, uh, distribute and configure applications, uh, define VPN settings. You can even you can even set your corporate wa wa wallpaper and and you know many, many more. Um, and the next part of, of, of preparing the device is, is security. Uh, with FAMOC Manage, you can you can force the security uh, the security restrictions on the on the, on the end users, like uh, you know some some basics like like pin code or password. You can define the length of, of uh, the complexity uh, of, of the password uh, you know uh, provided by the by the end user. Uh, you can you can uh, remotely configure Wi-Fi connections. Uh, even with, with certificates to, to authorize the, the device in the corporate network. Uh, uh, in case of uh, lost or theft, uh, things uh, we are talking about in the very beginning, um, FAMOC allows you to, to remotely wipe the device or just you know, lock it. Um, uh, the, the next uh, step is you know, useful in everyday work is monitoring. Uh, we need to monitoring uh, our, 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 our secure devices and from the uh, FAMOC console, you can see uh, uh, the, all, the, all the information about uh, your devices, from the security status, uh, battery level, uh, to the location of the device. 
the start view of the console is very flexible. You can choose uh, what, what data uh, you want to check regularly. Uh, you, can, you can generate reports. Uh, you can even set, set the, the, the report schedule where to be displayed in the console or, or send directly to your, to your email. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's very easy. And uh, finally, uh, <clears throat> and, and the, the support, which includes the, the feature called uh, remote access. Uh, we can say for sure that there is a, one of the you know, <laughs> most popular feature uh, in Famoc, especially uh, useful in every, every company with the employees working in the field, like uh, transport or logistic industry or point of sales. Where, where the access to the device is limited. Uh, remote access gives you control of the device uh, you know, remotely. It's something like RDP on Windows machines. Uh, so that uh, can, be, can, be, can be helpful uh, in case of uh, technical difficulties, for example. Um, and another thing of, about support is our, our, our support. Um, uh, both our support team from FAMOC and our support portal uh, are made for, for you to help. There are a lot, a lot of documentation, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of questions, answers. Uh, you, can, you can report uh, a new feature. Everything is there for you. Uh, oh, sorry. And last, last uh, word about Samok. Uh, okay, let's say last. Um, I mentioned earlier about the, the, about the, the, the FAMOC is a part of uh, IT infrastructure. Uh, FAMOC can be integrated with uh, user catalog, Active Directory, for, for example, uh, that uh, to have users uh, list in FAMOC. It's, it's really useful to assign owner uh, to the device and to let admins to, 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 to log in with the same credentials to the uh, as, as to the other systems in the, in the company. Uh, Microsoft CA and, and FAMOC CA certificate authority as for generating an installation, uh, installate a certification on the device. Uh, certificates can, uh, can be used, uh, used for, for, to, to, to authorize Wi-Fi, uh, email, uh, VPN, uh, or even internal website in the web browser. Uh, Extreme Networks or, or Cisco allows you to, to verify if the device uh, connecting to the, to the company network is managed and secured by FAMOC. If not, connection will be, will be, will be blocked. It's you know, very easy. Uh, integration with Ubiqui, that's interesting. That's, you know, that's, uh, these are small, these small uh, USB and NFC uh, dongle can be used to authorize a user uh, when try to, to, to connect to the VPN from the device. And another big integration is Android Enterprise. Um, you know, uh, the, the, the possibilities, uh, I think the probably now will, will tell you uh, in details. Go on. Yes, exactly. Uh, what, mm -hmm. uh, what is actually Android Enterprise and what, uh, why is it so important to us? Um, you should probably know that more than 50% of employees use their business phones to, for, for private usage. And that is why uh, in case of, uh, of the, the situation when the device is lost or stolen, uh, it's uh, especially, it's, it's, it's the most important to protect the, the company data. And that was the story about uh, in the very beginning, which we presented. Uh, so that is why the topic of Android Enterprise is so important uh, for us. So um, just in few words, what is Android Enterprise? It's like a um, Google-led program uh, for, for better uh, usage of Android devices in the workplace. Uh, so, and with Android Enterprise integration, uh, this one, not this one, mm -hmm. wait a second, <laughs> yes. And with Android Enterprise integration, uh, FAMOC manage, uh, can uh, manage business data and business apps while uh, leaving the private part untouched. So we can, um, of course, depending on, uh, depending on the model, which I will describe later on. Uh, we can just manage only the, the business part, leaving the, the private part untouched. 
And let's see, we have um, four different flavors for enterprises, which means four ways to manage the, the mobile fleet. And the first case is when the employee uh, uses their, uh, his, her personal device for work. And that is called uh, bring your own device BYOD mode. Um, and the next ones uh, regards, uh, regard uh, company owned devices. So uh, there is Kobo, Cope and Kosu mode. And I will describe it later on. Let's go to BYOD first. No, too fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, BYOD mode is uh, yeah is dedicated to personal device, and the IT administrator um, uh, can create a container for all the work staff. So the um, business apps, files, photos, messages, documents, and so on and so on. And this container is protected by a dedicated password. And the IT admin can control only this particular part. And um, not, uh, of course, not the whole device. Uh, in this way, you can organize data separation on your mobile phone, which is very uh, important um, from our client's perspective. The next one. The next one is Kobo, which means corporate owned business only. And that means uh, a managed device. So we are saying then that device is uh, in uh, device owner mode and the IT administrator uh, just controls uh, the entire device. Here we have a cope mode, uh, which means corporate owned personally enabled. And uh, that's interesting. Actually, that's interesting mix of BYOD and the Kobo mode. So two previous ones, uh, which means the fully managed device uh, with, with the container. And um, you should know that this will work only up to Android 10. Uh, since uh, Android 11, uh, in uh, Android 11, uh, this method will be replaced by uh, enhanced BYOD. And it means uh, that uh, actually it will be BYOD mode with uh, some additional features for private part security. Um, it, it, will allow, um, it will allow us to secure the private part in a limited way. So for example, you can, you can, um, you can block uh, the installation um, of, of the apps from unknown sources in a private, in a private part. Uh, yeah, I, I would just say one, one, one thing, okay, Paulina? Uh, sure. This is a, a yeah, this, this extended or, or enhanced BYOD um, uh, method. It, it will be you know, a, a great example how we can, how we can secure um, this, uh, this our, our device found in the park. Because uh, there we, we have some, we have a lot of private um, info, we have uh, a lot of corporate data. Uh, so uh, uh, this BYOD uh, uh, enhanced method would allow us to not only secure the, 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 the corporate uh, section, but we can force to, 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 to for example, to, um, to use lock code in the private uh, part as well. So, so uh, we, we, you know, we, uh, we, uh, we don't see, we as a FAMOC and uh, FAMOC administrator, we don't see uh, anything uh, in the private part, like you know, text message, messages or, or uh, private photos, but we can help to secure this part as well. Okay, sorry, go on. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> uh, and the, the last one uh, is COSU mode. And um, yeah, COSU mode means uh, corporate own single use. And uh, that means that the device is, is dedicated for one specific purpose. That can be just one specific um, application or launcher or the kiosk mode. And in this case, the IT administrator can block 
uh, both the, the features, the functionalities, uh, the rest of, of apps, but also he can block uh, hardware elements like, like buttons, for example. And um, this mode can be used, for example, as a, as a point of sales in retail. But on the other hand, it can be, uh, it can be useful if you have a uh, logistics company and uh, you want that your drivers use only the GPS and uh, all the other stuff can be, can be just block for the drivers. And now Miha will show you a short demo about those four flavors, actually two of them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's me. I just need to switch to the uh, to my device connected to the to the to the computer. Uh, okay, uh, okay. This is my device, and here somewhere should be should be my uh, my Famoc web console. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's let's take a look uh, uh, on on the Famoc web console. Um, after the first login, we 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 can see the something like a dashboard with uh, some some um, you know basic information like amount of managed devices, uh, amount of uh, devices with uh, uh, up to date policies, security security policies, uh, amount of unreaded uh, alerts generated by the device or by the users. So so we we can we can uh, easily uh, see the details about each of them. Uh, but the most interesting part, I think, is the devices list. Uh, here, here are the device. Uh, here are the list of devices which, uh, are, are which under the, the FAMOC, uh, FAMOC manage, um, uh, management control. Um, here, here I have a Samsung uh, A20. Um, it's in BYOD mode. Um, it's you know it's it's it's, it's, it's fully secured uh, with. The point is that the, 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 there is a, a private part, uh, so that we we don't have a, 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 an access to, to, to that uh, you know area, and uh, the, the corporate part. So let's let's see how it looks like, uh, how it looks like uh, on the device. Um, let's see here. We try. Okay. Uh, as you can see, here's a you know um, common common uh, wallpaper with. Uh, with some with, with some application uh, list in the private part, uh, but the, the the interesting thing is uh, at, at the bottom. Uh, here are two, here are two tabs: personal and to work. In personal, you can see your own your own own applications uh, like you know social uh, photos, text messages, uh, your private one, your your private uh, Play Store, etc. Uh, but in work tab, there are uh, applications installed in, in, in dedicated secured area. Uh, as you can see, uh, there, are, there are applications known probably by you, like Chrome Web Browser, like Gmail, like Play Store, but they're, they're, they have something like you know briefcase on, on, on the icon. It means that uh, those applications are, uh, are installed in, in, in something like container separate separated uh, area in the in, in the phone um, so we as famoc uh, can can control those applications in work profile in this container uh, what does it mean um, all applications which which uh, you are um, which, which can be visible here are installed from famoc uh, it, it, they were installed remotely uh, silently. Uh, what's more, um, what's more, um, um, they are already configured. What does it mean? So uh, let's let's take a look on on Gmail. Um, it's an email account. Uh, um, what does it mean? It, it is configured. Uh, it means that on the first on the first run, you are you are asked to provide your your password to your email. Uh, all or other credentials like like login, like domain, like a server address were provided by the administrator remotely during the app installation. So let's provide my secret password. Okay. And after a few seconds, it's 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 uh, you know uh, configured and it's ready to 
it's ready to go, it's ready to use. Uh, you don't have to, you know, uh, your, your your employees don't have to remember all those, you know, credentials like 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 uh, addresses, domains, uh, just their password, uh, which 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 are using, uh, for example, to to log into their computer. Uh, what's more, another another example of uh, apps configuration is, is Chrome. It's you know, it's a web browser. What does it mean? It is configured. Uh, it means that uh, it will it can be it can be used in other way that uh, than the administrator define it in the in the web console uh, okay so so um, what is configured here uh, for example um, there is incognito mode disabled so the user cannot click on it cannot cannot uh, um, um, cannot see see the web the web pages uh, in incognito mode um, if you would like to uh, to open, let's say, uh, on Google website, uh, we will get the information that the site is blocked, uh, and it's blocked by our administrator. So there is something like you know whitelist, blacklist. Uh, we can we can we can uh, uh, we can let user open those those websites which um, uh, which which are. Uh, allowed by uh, our, our security team we can also provide something like bookmarks so it's easy to to, to, to open the whitelisted web page web, uh, websites hermitage or, or in this example travel.com uh, it's, it's very useful it's very nice and what what is important uh, it, there is no impact on on the chrome in the private part so in the private part, you can you can you can you can use uh, Chrome as you like. So my, my, my here Google Google.com. It's not blocked. It's you know clean version. Let's say. Uh, another thing, uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know people ask me, okay, what about Copying content from the uh, from the container, from the email, or from the internal websites available in the um, in the work profile. Uh, how we can prevent to, to to copy those content to the private uh, pri private part uh, and send, you know, uh, for example, over the, the the text message or or private email. Uh, okay, so let's 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 try let's try to uh, copy some content from the um, Chrome in the work profile. Copy, and let's go to the text message. Okay, it's the Bethany, for example. Okay, oh, let's open the clipboard. As you can see, there is nothing like. Like this, 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 this text I, I just copied uh, from the from the uh, Chrome in the web, web uh, in the in the work profile. When I go back to the work profile app, for example, Notepad, and I will try to paste it. As you can see, there is that there is that that, that text. So I can I can copy and paste it just um, in in the in the uh, work profile area between those uh, let's say managed and secured apps uh, okay what, what else uh, this is an important thing or interesting uh, in byod mode the uh, master of the device is the device owner uh, so for so the employee uh, the employee can um, can turn off the uh, work profile work profile um, for example, when he or she uh, finished the, the work, uh, what, what does it mean? When I when I when I click on the work profile icon, the work profile will be disabled until I turn it on again. It means that um, notifications from uh, an application in the work profile will will be not displayed here. So every email. Every notification from the uh, internal websites uh, will be not uh, displayed on the device after the uh, working hours. 
So when I when I go back to the work, uh, you know, in the next day, I, I will uh, open the, uh, the work profile. I have to provide the pin code, and I'm in N again. Uh, okay, this is how it looks like with uh, uh, BYOD mode. Uh, let's have a fast switch to the another device, uh, which is uh, fully managed. Mm -hmm. Which is fully managed. And uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, you can do a lot more than uh, in BYOD mode. Uh, in here, as you can see, there are you know just few uh, applications which um, Pharmac administrator allows uh, to to be there. It's it's something like you know white list of applications. Uh, so so the user um, the user cannot install anything more than the the, the administrator uh, defining the policy. Uh, so so you, you you probably can can see the Play Store, but this is a, a, I know something. Uh, like um, it's different Play Store uh, because uh, this this is a corporate one uh, without public uh, public applications. So you can see only uh, apps uh, which which, uh, which uh, were um, accepted by the Famoc admin. Uh, okay, uh, so what what does it mean that the the, the device is fully managed? Uh, so um, in compar in comparison with, with uh, BYOD, here we can we can uh, block. Uh, for example, the each each modules of the device, like like you know Bluetooth, uh, when trying to to to, to um, um, turn it on, um, there is a pop up or toast that this 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 uh, feature was disabled by the admin. Same with air airplane, same with uh, you know, Wi-Fi. And of course, it depends on the client's client needs. Uh, when we when we go to um, to the settings. Uh, and and try to um, I know uh, reset device to the factory settings. Uh, this this option is you know disabled as well. Uh, if you would like to to, to reset uh, uh, network settings, uh, there is a message that it's impossible to 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 to, to do uh, because it's blocked by by FAMOC, uh, administrator. Uh, Uh, this is how it looks like from the from the device perspective. Uh, let's 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 go to the to the Pharma console. Pharma console. Where are you? Pharma console is here. Let's find our uh, another device. This this uh, fully managed. It's here. What else can we can we do remotely? Um, as you can see, I'm in device details, so uh, I know who is the owner. It's my cross. Uh, what 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 exact model this device is? What is the the uh, IDs of this device? Uh, we can we can display the the, the location of, of this device as well. Uh, let's see where I am right now. Uh, okay, I'm here, so you can you, you know where I where I live. Uh, I am Poland. Yeah, this is the north part of Poland. Not so far to you. Uh, the location, the location can be can be uh, can be received uh, uh, on demand or can be uh, sent uh, as a you know schedule uh, in the in the policy. Uh, and what if we would like to help someone? Uh, someone in the field we, we uh, mentioned about it uh, before we can uh, we can connect to the device with uh, remote access uh, as i said it's something like rdp so let's let's try to connect to, to this device uh, how it looks like um, okay i will i will switch to the device i will show you uh -huh. Uh, the the Pharmac administrator know that um, uh, something that, that the user uh, need to approve this this session uh, on the device. It looks like like this. 
uh, the remote access uh, starts to run on the device and I'm asked uh, to, 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 to accept the, uh, the, 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 the remote session. Uh, this is, it is to prevent the, the administrator to, uh, you know, to, to connect to the internet without my, my knowledge and uh, check, my, check my text message or, or private uh, photos. Um, okay, how it looks like from the, uh, from the web console. Uh, we can um, we can we can see the the screen as you can see from the device. What's more, we can control it remotely. So uh, I can I can use my mouse to um, to open the, the 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 application list. I can open the um, uh, the device settings. Uh, so so I can see exact exact uh, exact uh, screen as 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 user. So I can I can help him. I can um, provide him to, to, to each settings. I can do it by him. As you know, it's very easy and it's, it's quite fast. Um, okay, so um, um, if you are interested uh, in how those features I mentioned uh, are, are used uh, in in production by who? Uh, let's let's move on. Uh, Paulina will, will say will, will uh, talk about uh, case study uh, and our customers. Yes, I have prepared one case study to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, thank you, Michal. I, I hope you everyone <laughs> found it very interesting. And as you can see, there are a lot of um, possibilities to, 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 to control the data and to protect the data on the device. And, uh, and uh, today, the last, actually the last thing uh, for today is, uh, is a short case study uh, of Latvian Post. And that is why, why one of our clients. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, or not, uh, because maybe I missed it. Uh, last year, we are trying to to be really active in in Baltic uh, Baltic countries. So uh, two years ago, we implemented Famoc Manage uh, together with one of our partner in Latvian Post. And uh, you know, it's a general postal services uh, provider in Latvia, uh, 600 uh, post offices, uh, 4,000 employees. So, um, yeah, like, that, that, that was like a, like a challenge for us. And what was the challenge about? Uh, the main challenge for the Latvian Post was, was the whole digitalization process regarding postal deliver, delivers uh, registration. Um, so, you know, less paper forms, less manual work, um, all of that to, to improve the delivery control. And uh, another thing was to develop their mobile application. The application for information of, of postal deliveries registration. Um, the features of this app are of course uh, delivery registration, the digital signature of, of, of uh, their clients, um, data synchronization with the main system. And um, what's important, Latvian Post needed um, both the new devices for this, for, the, for those uh, challenges, uh, together with MDM solutions so, so that uh, we delivered uh, our services together with our partner and um, um, they, they choose FAMOC Manage uh, to protect the data and to manage uh, their devices. There was about um, 1,500 uh, devices and, uh, and uh, the, 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 the most important features were, uh, were a kiosk mode which we mentioned before, because uh, the employees uh, uses uh, the devices with this particular app uh, for, for, for the uh, deliveries registration process. Uh, what's more, a file transfer, as well as remote uh, configuration, of course, and remote access. So those two features, Michal just uh, have shown you. And, um, 
of course yeah my my, my bad sorry i i forgot to to show the the, the file manager uh you know during the remote access session my bad sorry <laughs> but no it's, problem it's, yeah it's it's next it's next to the you know remote remote screen we we can open the the file manager so so that we can upload download files uh from the device uh yeah and it, it's it's you know um used by by latin post as well as as you as you said yeah the truth is that there is a lot of features we would like to show you right now but of course it's impossible um right so um they needed of course the remote configuration and the remote access because as you probably know um the employees of latvian posts are working in the field so uh, uh so the remote help is really useful for them and of course the security part uh there are a lot of corporate data and the, the clients data uh, so the the security restrictions were also important for them uh and yeah that is uh, how it looks and now i guess we should go to the q and a session <laughs> 